Hi there, this is Al from TheGamingGeek.net and we've got another PlayStation 2 game that we're going to take a look at uh, on the Retroid Pocket. What is this? The Retroid Pocket 3 Plus. Oh man, there's so many Retroid Pockets that got released. I'm getting confused. Um, Retroid Pocket 3 Plus PS2 game. This is Contra Shattered Soldier, the PAL version. Uh, we're playing it using an older version of Ether SX2. I, I'm having trouble getting the lighting right. And the Ether SX2, I'm using an older version. The version number will be in the um, video description. Right? It's the last official release that I'm using. And let's just have this play out. Uh, before we uh, take a look at the setting. So Contra is a retro gaming classic. Uh, it's been one of the most popular uh, NES games of all time. Uh, in fact, uh, I think this is um, this and Gradius were the best examples of where the Konami code um, was used uh, mo most often. You would get 99 lives if you use the Konami code on the on one of the Contra games. It's also one of the most difficult ones, but um, I know a lot of people who like playing Contra games. There's something wrong with uh, my lighting. So after the intro sequence, I'm gonna uh, change it again. And this is an attempt to bring Contra from the 8-bit world into the modern world and it's been requested for a long time now but I don't know I've, I've, I've never been that interested in trying this out um, until recently right so I'm sorry uh, uh, to the person who requested it I'm sorry it took me so long it's just, sometimes there's just more interesting stuff that comes in and uh, I do have to choose uh, games that you know um, are fun to play, right? That came out wrong. This is fun to play. It's just that it's not my cup of tea. And sometimes, you know, when um, sometimes you just have to be selfish and choose the games I'm more interested in. Uh, but we, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get into the settings. Um, so just go into Ether SX2, go to General, press on Set Optimal Settings. Then go into system settings. Um, I've seen people play this um, uh, under optimal settings, but uh, I recommend putting uh, cycle skip to mild underclock just to make sure that it's a lot more smoother. In graphics, change GPU render to Vulkan. And uh, thread presentation, make sure that's checked. Audio settings, make sure that you're using Gaussian and time stretch for interpolation and, syn and synchronization. And you should be all set actually after that. Uh, I'm still having trouble finding the right lighting for this. Maybe that's better. Hmm. Yeah, well, you know what? We'll go ahead with this. But, um, not that this isn't a fun game, right? It's just after I played it, uh, it's a game that requires. I'm going to go easy, see? It's a game that requires... How do I exit? Start. No. I just want to make sure that it's on easy mode. Yep. You know what? I think I'll go for the brighter option. So that you can see the graphics. Um, it's a game that requires knowing the levels. Right? Because uh, you're going to go... You're going to die a lot. And you're going to have to uh, continue a lot. Right? And... I don't have time to learn this game, so I'm not sure that I'm gonna get far far into it. Right, but, but I'll play what I can, and um, sorry if I'm not good at it. Uh, I've only seen the first level, actually. If you don't know what's coming, it's hard to react to it uh, properly. So we'll go ahead. All right, one second. All right.
there are a few things that I actually like this this game. Um, what can I say about it? Um, it's still Contra, right? So it feels very true to what the 8-bit game did. And yet uh, there are some improvements like uh, you have your weapons already. Oh no, I thought that was gonna hit me. So you have three weapons, you can switch between them. Um, it's still 2D, or what they say, what they call 2.5D. And you've got some things that uh, make it easy, easier to play. Ooh. Like um, locking shot direction, for example. Oops. Nope. Oh no. For example, you can like lock yourself into. Oh man. And shooting in one direction, or you can press a button to keep yourself from moving. But there is a learning curve to it. And I just, like, died. Oh no. Right. All right, so far so good. Right, the graphics are actually pretty neat. Ooh. So you don't have to worry about, you know, finding good weapons, right, or having a turbo controller. I mean, you already have your rapid fire built in. You've also got that easy mode already uh, built into it. So, just need some getting used to, like I, I said. There, this is uh, very handy. Uh, the lock Ooh. is that gonna hit me I'll just jump to be safe right there see it makes some battles a lot easier but you do get have to get used to it um, and I, I haven't had time to get used to it I bet this would be a fun two-player co-op game. Oh, I just got killed. I didn't see the the guy fire. Right, I think the lighting's a little bit off here. I actually don't know how to beat this this guy. I can wound him, but I don't think I'm doing enough damage. Oh. Yeah. 
The ice is going to go away now. Oh. I don't know, this all this ma fight always ends with uh, him escaping. Maybe I should fire the bomb. Yeah, there he's already escaping. I'm really not satisfied with the the lighting so one second see if this is better all right oh no this is a particularly tough area for me to get past they always manage to grab me Almost got, almost got it. All right, all right. I survived. Looks easy, but um, no, it's not. Yeah, I get stuff for later. All right, I hope I have enough lives to make it through this. You know what? I'll just use this part. There you go. See, there was a little frame rate dip. Oop! I just killed myself. Oh. I know, am I good enough to survive this? I'm not even seeing the hitboxes. Get some blowback, alright. Oh no! Man, I hope I, I beat the... Oh, is that it? Alright, that's the first level. <laughs> Good enough to... Make it to the end. Wow. Yeah, this is an easy mode. So, like, like I said, I'm, I don't foresee this um, test to take too long. Even with mild underclock, there was a, a bit there that had a brief stutter, right? Did you notice that? All right. All right, I'm gonna skip through the the story. That's weird. So I think Bill and Lance were the original heroes of the first Contra. Yeah, here's a flashback.
Alright, so he dies before he reveals the big secret. Very dramatic, just so. Uh, yeah, he never thought one of them would would perish, right? Anyhow, so that's Fortress. We can select the missions, but let's do it by uh, numerical order. So well, let's take a look at another stage and see if performance um, holds, right? I don't... Ooh, what's this? I have like one life, so... I'm probably gonna die fast. Oof. Ooh. I'll just get myself. You know what? I'll, I'll fight as hard as I can. Oh. Yeah. So that when when we continue. Um, at least I've seen, uh, what, what's gonna happen, so. Alright, now I got eight lives. Just trying to get a better, alright. Man, trying to fix the... The lighting. I'm gonna sacrifice this attempt. I, I really want to fix the brightness. Oh man. Yeah, I told you this, this requires some... Um, there's a learning curve to this game. Just... I haven't played it long enough to... Oh, jeez. I guess it's, the, the, it's just gonna repeat the cycle, right? Until you finally beat it. Okay. I'm hoping when we uh, continue, it's gonna be far, a little farther along. All right. Transforming vehicle. Ooh. Oh no. Oh my goodness. I'm getting my ass kicked. Ah. Yeah, so so when they said that it's it's not fun, like it's it's not it can get a little frustrating, right? To keep dying and you know, because um oh my goodness that's why some requests i i just outright refuse because i'm not gonna have fun with the game and it makes for a really bad episode like i don't want you guys to see me being cranky Alright, so I already lost two lives, but at least I've seen the level. Oh! Right. Alright. I can't... Um... Seem to grasp the hold shot. It's, I'm just not used to it. It's not comfortable. Right.
it's just weird uh, holding down the L2 button and doing a direction. Um, Alright, is that gonna come in and shoot me? Alright. Yeah, and this is uh, w um, where what I said earlier comes into play. Like, you need to see the the level at least once to, to probably be able to respond to it. Alright, like this one. And you destroy me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There, see, because I knew that. Oh, what? Oh, my goodness. This is getting creamed. All right. The the reason why I I was uh, okay with the first level is because I I played it uh, several times before shooting this episode. Um, but I don't want to have to keep uh, replaying the games over and over, right? Before I actually. Um, before I actually shoot the episodes, like, that's too much time commitment. So, sometimes, um, <clears throat> recently, I've been refusing a game request because I simply don't want to spend the time, uh, being good enough, uh, in the requested game to actually progress, right? And I don't mean to be um, choosy. Uh, like, if you have a long list of requests, would you rather do the ones you're interested in first? Okay. All right. Um, can I actually kill that? Okay, I can. Can I actually kill this? Oh no. It's not good. They need to be shooting forward. Alright. What? Oh no. Whoa. Alright, I mean, once you've seen it, right, you can adjust. Oh wow. Oh, I thought I died. Okay, see, look at that. Even that, I haven't seen that before, but I say look to adjust. Okay. Motorbike level still not done. Oh, no. What's this? Oh, okay. Whoa. What the? Huh?
Where am I supposed to shoot? All right. I'm just hoping when, when we finally run out of lives. That um, we won't have to start from the beginning. Oh no. <clears throat> oh no. How about I switch to flamethrower? Or just bomb? What's this for? Oh no. Oh no. One more life, you can do it. Oh no. Ooh. Huh. From the middle, I hope that from the middle is somewhere really far. I'm, I really, I really can do this. So, one more try. I'm learning the, the pattern. For as long as this guy doesn't kill me. Oh shoot. Oh man. Damn it. Alright, I think we made it fast. I still lost two lives, my goodness. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Oh, you can do that. I think just... Huh. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Oh, man. Not vulnerable yet. Okay. This is it.
All right, so remember, I had five lives. Oh, man. Oh, no. All right, still alive. Did I knock out both uh, shoulder pads already? This next sequence is uh, pretty easy. Yeah, there, see? Ooh. All right, I think I... I think I know uh, what to do here. All right. Oh no. Until it's ready. Yeah, and I'm going to be editing out the number of attempts that um, it took me to to beat this boss, so... Alright. wonder if this isn't the best weapon to use. Oh, but yeah, I beat, I beat the boss, so. Is it over? Are you finally dead? No. Oh, it is. Hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it, like I said, it requires some... Pattern memorization and some to be able to to you know to beat the stages right. So I'm gonna be adjusting my lighting here. Uh, so we're just gonna do a preview of the third and fourth stages. Right, I'm just gonna play as far as my lives. Uh, allow me to reach. There you go. I'm a little bit better now. Oops. I don't even know what can hit me and what. Ouch, ouch. All right, let's just run, make a run. Whoa, shoot. Yeah, we're just going to take a look at the third level. I'm not interested in beating this. And, and next time uh, it asks us to continue, I'll just end it.
Wow. How do you dodge that? Oh, you can fire against the bullet, so. So there is a way to dodge it. I think uh, we're gonna fight it using this. Oh, shoot. Alright, like I said, I'm gonna do end. And. End. And we'll just start over. Right, we're just gonna, going to go straight into the seabed. Alright, so we're too bright again, so we're gonna adjust, make adjustments. Alright, now it's a uh, flying stage. Right. It's amazing how uh, Bill can easily control the rocket, right? How about I just do that? More mecha. Why don't you get your own mecha, Bill? And then let's make it into a more interesting fight. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's tricky. You know what? I'm this close. Maybe I should just fire. How do, how do... Oh man, even the chain kills you? Yeah, at this point, my, my brain is checked out. I don't want to figure out how to beat this guy anymore. Yeah, I'm not not making an effort. It's not my job to beat these games. So, just wanted to a preview of um, how the game looks. Oh, shoot. When we continue, it happens. All right, so. What are flames that are like the best option here? Oh, 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 oh. No, I, I, I'll do homing. Graphics look really good, and um, it's the I mean the scenarios, the the, the sequences are. It's like an intense action movie, right? Where where the situations Bill is finding himself in is becoming more and more absurd. The longer the game runs. I wonder where the, the right spot is here. Yeah, homing the the bomb.
protects you. There you go. Yep. For as long as you know when to let go of the charge. Ooh, first, first kick, first death. Pretty decent, right? No, I'm not sure if uh, my uh, rate of uh, being able to kill this uh, boss is become extremely slow because of the way I'm choosing to fight him, but I'd rather stay alive. Oh no. Yeah, let's not forget the chain kill. Oops. All right. Finally destroyed the backside. I'm stranded and I just got killed because I got cornered No oh. All right, we're almost killed this um, boss. Oh no, man, the, the chain. The chain hit us. What the? I didn't know that this uh, guy can attack like that. Oops. Oh no. Did I survive?
All right, so what's next? How do you fight us now? Oh, fighting the world. Man, it's protecting its uh, weak point really well. I wonder how long this is. <laughs> Maybe this is a hint. All right. Oh no. I got hit by the I think that's a better strategy. We're down to our last life anyway. I'm not gonna continue if oh if I still fail here. So oh yeah, there you go. Weird, is uh, the fourth level that easy or is there more to this? Ah, there's more to this. Alright, but well, I only wanted a preview of the fourth level and so we're gonna stop there. Um, Contra Shattered Soldier, the PAL version, is very playable on the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus with just mild underclock. They're just minor, very infrequent. Actually, it only happened once um, where there was a little bit of a stutter, but for the most part, the game was running well. And I don't think we're gonna see anything that's really gonna, um, you know, uh, impact performance, right? Uh, we've seen. The entire first two stages and parts of stage three and four so i'm pretty confident that um, the the game's gonna play well 
And if it doesn't, if there are stages later on that uh, don't play well, you, then you still have your uh, underclocks and cycle uh, that you can do on cycle rate and cycle skip. Right, um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode, even though I wasn't really fond of uh, dying a lot. Right, um, but yeah, there you go. Try it out. Um, once again, it's out from the gaming geek.net. This, this boss really takes a long time to, to do. Talk to you in the next video.